In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a frame using a Photoshop style. Now, I've got a document here. It's uh, showing a picture of London Wall in the uh, City of London. So, select, select all. Now, same approach can be used in CS5, CS4, whatever. I'm using CS5 in this, in this tutorial. Uh, I want to resize the selection, so I'm going to select Transform Selection. And then along here, you see the width and height. So, set that to 80%. 80% click OK and now this is going to be the, the actual frame this bit here so I'm just going to invert that select inverse and fill edit fill and I'm going to fill it with black so obviously got other options but black OK then copy and I'm going to paste that as a layer so now you if you go to layers you will see the layer here now of course, I could just stick with this and just, just keep the black frame. So I'm just going to go to the styles. Now, if you haven't got styles open, it's window and styles. I'm using in this uh, in this tutorial uh, styles from graphicextras.com, Greek ornament styles. So I'm just going to select one of those. So you can just click on them just here, whole selection. But if you want to load them, you have to go to the load styles or replace styles command. Of course you also can use the file open command. So if you actually go file open and you can select the ASL file, that's what you've got to look for, ASL file. Now you could use other ASL files on the web. Now, so I've got this frame and I could at this point resize if I want to uh, modify this. So layer style, scale effects, and I can resize. So just change the size very quickly and easily that way. Click OK. And if I want to modify the actual frame a bit more, layer, layer style, pattern overlay. If you do that, you can actually move the frame around. So you actually go onto the pattern overlay at this point. So you can actually position it slightly better than, uh, than I had actually before. So you can move it around there. I'm also going to add a stroke to the design, just so an inner sort of frame. So I'm just going to quickly resize that. So you just see the frame. And then I'm going to go and add a quick drop shadow to give it sort of a three-dimensional element. So change the spread and size. And then you've got a shadow just there, just along there. You just see the shadow there. Right, at this point, of course, that, well, that's it for this frame. But uh, you could actually modify with the... Uh, the pack I've actually got. There's actually the PAT files. Not every style set obviously has those, so uh, if they're sort of gradient based or whatever, but uh, in this um, pack, there's actually the pattern files available as well. So you can actually, at that point, you can actually modify the pattern even more. And of course, at that point, you can even save the pattern if you wish. So you've uh, decided that style, you can create it as a new style, and that will then include the shadow as well as the uh, stroke. Click OK at that point. That's it for a quick frame.